Uh, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is, is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, you go to bookmap.com. And uh, there's a 14-day free trial of the product, uh, fully featured, uh, and um, uh, it comes with education. Okay, there is a Bookmap educational course. Uh, that would be the first thing to uh, start to watch and start to digest. Uh, and then go to the advanced um, uh, order flow webinars that I was just mentioning. Okay, they start at 11 Eastern. Okay, there are other resources as well. Uh, it's pretty pretty robust, uh, uh, you know, offering here uh, that comes along with the platform. Okay, all right. So let's take a look at uh, book map here. Okay, and just uh, want to go through the basics uh, in the uh, in the website. Okay, so uh, start at the home page here, and just drops down into the intro page um, and about. Uh, book map. There's a quick video here, just gives you an overview, and then just uh, information here about book map. Okay. Uh, there's also a book map for equities. Okay. It's uh, with this data feed here, uh, and um, uh, NASDAQ total view. Uh, and if we continue on down, uh, you will need connectivity. Okay. We're a platform, we're not a data provider. Okay. So you will need to connect book map to one of these. Uh, data providers. Okay. Now that said, you can see that there's some other platforms here like TTX Trader Pro, uh, and Ninja Trader, and uh, Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Okay. These uh, platforms here we connect to the API. So, um, so there's a, a kind of a, um, a a number of different ways of connecting Bookmap. Okay. If you use these platforms, All right. A bit further down, this is where you can find the trial information. Okay, 14 days free trial. There's Bookmap Basic, Advanced, and then Quant. Okay, if you want to know the differences here, there's a, a link down here that does a comparison uh, of each feature. So there's really only one version of Bookmap. It's Bookmap Basic. It's 49 per month, billed quarterly, and you get that 14 day free trial. Okay, Bookmap Advanced is the same uh, as Basic, except for mainly uh, these add ons that you see here. Okay. Uh, the one-click trading from the chart, uh, nice uh, advantage there uh, because you see the liquidity heat map. We've been covering that in detail in the uh, second webinar, uh, how to uh, use that heat map to your advantage for your trade management, okay, especially with your targets and your stops. Um, and, um, and then you can see there's proprietary indicators that we've put together that go through the order flow. All right. Uh, quants, you'll have special needs for your own data. Uh, or your own proprietary indicators. So click here to learn more about that. Uh, social media, you can follow us on at bookmap underscore pro, okay, to get uh, latest information and um, uh, just uh, understanding uh, some of the other users that we will re retweet. Uh, and then uh, the bookmap um, uh, YouTube page, okay. Uh, there's some intro videos here for those of you who are new. Uh, and uh, then there's the features and components uh, here. Uh, this playlist, I, I would recommend if you're new uh, to watch some of these just to get a feel for what it is, uh, book map, uh, uh, how it works, etc. Uh, and then uh, these order flow video snippets. Now these go through the con concepts, conceptual uh, uh, content um, that uh, we cover in detail. Uh, in the live markets, okay, during the live webinar, okay, this is the phenomena, many of the different phenomena that we we cover, okay. So um, uh, just uh, when we see something interesting, we'll we'll make a video of it. They're very short here, uh, but uh, uh, this is uh, something that uh, uh, you want to understand what the markets are doing, uh, how Bookmap uh, uh, offers you transparency into what the markets are doing. Then these are the videos to watch, okay. All right. Let's go back and let's take a look at Bookmap. Okay, so let's uh, want to take a quick look at. Uh, you know, we could look at the ES today. ES has been moving. Um, you know, it's up to you guys. Uh, you know, put your uh, comments in what what you'd like to to look at. We've been covering the Nasdaq for quite a while now. Uh, it's been bullish just because tech has been bullish, and you can see that again here. Uh, let's see, that's a five-minute chart. So let's go to thirty-minute. 
All right, so uh, yeah, still you know very bullish um, and uh, more bullish than the uh, than the S and P. Okay, but um, yeah, up, up to you guys. Um, you know, I kind of kind of like sticking with this Nasdaq, but uh, um, you know, if uh, if you guys want to look at the S and P, uh, I know there's many S and P traders. Then uh, let me know. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I got a question here from Brian immediately. Uh, let's take a look at Bookmap. Okay. Okay, uh, Brian. All right. So um, uh, let's go through some of these column settings. Okay, this is great. This is uh, what this webinar here is for. Um, for those of you who are new here, um, I just want to uh, quickly show you uh, what Bookmap is displaying, and I usually go through this in detail. Okay, but I'm just going to quickly go through it here. Okay, so. Uh, there's three elements. I mean, it looks like there's a lot going on in this chart. Okay, it's actually uh, pretty simple. Um, you know, it, it's uh, one of the most objective views you're going to get of the marketplace. Okay, and um, uh, what you're looking at here is historical best bid and offer. Okay, volume dots and the heat map. Okay, so if I just turn off all of these things uh, and uh, all we're looking at here, and I can turn on candles. Okay. Just quickly look at some candlesticks here, but the candlesticks um, really don't give you much transparency because just looking at historical best bid and offer, that's all we're looking at here with the candle, okay? We're seeing all sorts of microstructural detail here that gives significant input or understanding uh, to what's going on with price. And that is lost in the candlesticks. It's because the candlestick aggregates that information on a bar, okay? Whereas you're seeing everything here in bookmap. All right, so uh, that's the historical best bid and offer. Okay, let's turn off the candles. Uh, let's turn on the volume, okay? The volume dots, what we're looking at here, and let me turn down these dots, dot size. Okay, what we're looking at here uh, is the uh, the volume that transacts on the historical best bid and offer, okay? So very much like a footprint chart, we're showing you exactly where the volume is trading, what type of volume it is, and how much. All right, very important information to understand. Uh, now, the one benefit that you're gonna get uh, looking at book map compared to a footprint chart um, is the microstructure, okay? So little details like this you may not see, uh, you probably won't see in the um, uh, footprint chart. See how we, uh, you see the breakout here above this high, some consolidation here and the breakout again. Okay, now that actually kind of failed. It came back down to the bottom of this range, uh, but then the buyer stepped in here again. But starting to understand these little areas are key. All right, uh, so um, uh, that uh, information is lost in other charting platforms because they aggregate it, all right? Whereas like if I zoom in here, we're gonna see every single detail, okay? Historical best bid and offer in every single transaction. All right, now combine that with the uh, the dome, okay? The uh, the the depth of market. What we do uh, is uh, we we take the the dome here. Let me zoom in. Okay, Brian, I'm almost there. Uh, get to your question. Um, we take the uh, dome data here. This is this is it here. Let me get rid of this column. Okay, the COB is a current order book, right? Well, we take this dome data. Uh, and you can see all of the liquidity here. So a lot of liquidity up here at, at uh, 33, right? Looks like we're just about to test it as well. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, that, this is very important information. We're understanding the auction here. It is an auction, and we're understanding the players in the auction, okay? We can see them here in the dome. The problem with the dome is once these numbers change, and they, you can see they're changing all the time. Once they change, that data is lost. Where Bookmap solves that issue is we record it. Okay, we record it in this window here with the heat map. Okay, here's your best bid and offer current, last traded volume here with a number. And uh, here, here you can see these areas here, they're painted bright white. Okay, that's that high liquidity. Okay, you'll see subtleties in, in the in the um, heat map here. The, the grayscale will change, All right? Now I can, uh, uh, you know, make this uh, a little bit, Bring up uh, the settings here, so we can see the subtlety a little bit better here. Now you can you can change the heat map however you like, uh, but uh, what we're looking at now is uh, uh, the, these subtle, more subtle shifts in the liquidity, and it's it's recorded in the heat map. 
Okay, we're testing through 33. There we go. And we were looking at that, uh, and we just got it. Um, anyway, uh, so you can see the, the change here take place, and it's recorded and transposed on the chart historically. All right. So now we can start to gauge all sorts of information here by zooming out and understanding the uh, players at these levels, if they're longer term, larger players that want to get filled at these levels, or if they have no intent to trade and they're start to, starting to pull that liquidity. We see the auction here. We see it historically. That's the benefit that you're getting. All right. So let's, uh, let's get to Brian's question. Uh, he's talking about or asking about uh, setting up some of the columns data here. OK, uh, there's all sorts of ways of, uh, of doing this uh, and um, there's tremendous flexibility in these columns. So let's go through it. OK, so um, uh, first thing uh, is uh, I'm just going to right click in a column here. OK, and you can see I have the uh, ability to uh, format uh, the column. I, and this is a, a current order book column. OK, so I can also set the depth here if I want as well. Now I, I'm using rhythmic. I have unlimited depth. So. Uh, I like that view. Uh, I don't want to limit it uh, and set a depth. Okay. Anyway, let's click again. So these up here are some uh, formats uh, for the current uh, order book. Uh, and you can see the, that's what I have selected here with the radio dot. All right. You can see there's different types of data here. Everything that has a radio dot here, including two different notes, columns, uh, they have a radio dot. Um, at, these are different types of data. So I can choose volume if I want, all right? Uh, and um, uh, then I can, uh, I have other settings here for volume. Okay, I can reset it. I have all sorts of uh, uh, abilities here to reset the volume, uh, or I can change it to a, a chart range or a session range, okay? Chart range just means give me the profile or the volume information for what's in my current uh, window. So if I zoom in, you'll note how this column now reflects the volume there, okay? Uh, and um, uh, the session is for the entire session since when I opened up Bookmap. Okay. All right, Brian, I think right off the bat, that should answer your question on uh, where you find all the settings. Um, if uh, I can go into further detail here. Yeah, let's just do it. Um, and... Um, uh, you know, play around with it, play around with the settings. Uh, so you guys, um, uh, you know, get a, get a feel for, you know, what you're looking at here because there's unlimited settings almost. I mean, it's, it, there's all sorts of things you can do here. Just great, great stuff. Um, all right. So let's, I'm going to change this back to current order book. All right. And, uh, I have two different current order books set up here side by side. Right now, you can also move these around. Right, so if I left click and hold, okay, I can drag this. Uh, I can even drag it to the other side of the chart. All right, so you can configure it any way you want. Okay, uh, and uh, very quickly you can configure a, a pretty uh, uh, extensive dome here with all sorts of data and information. You can have multiple columns. Right, I can click and insert or hide a column down here. All right, so let's let's click and insert another one. You can see that it, it, it duplicates the one that I just came from, and, and it uh, uh, duplicates it here on the right hand side. Okay, so now let's right click here and let's format this column. Okay, so I'm going to format it, and you can see I can show either the bid, okay, or the, or the ask, uh, and um, uh, I can show an aggregate view of it. So that means that uh, the first level is added to the second level, which is added to the third level, et cetera, okay? So uh, this could be an important view for your current order book. Uh, if you uh, are looking for, uh, you know, if you're a larger player or if you're looking to see larger players come in with 100 lot, where they might get filled, right? Because 100 lots, and we need, we need to see the, uh, the numbers here, okay? So where would that 100 lot uh, uh, trader get filled? Okay, well, right around here, right? It, he would only go like uh, uh, two levels, basically, right? If he swept the book, okay? That's important to know, all right? Uh, it can be important to know. Anyway, that's an aggregate view. There's an extended view that shows the extended uh, a book um, or the historical book. Now, since I have unlimited depth here, uh, this is uh, ir irrelevant. Uh, you can show as bars, you can show as bars and numbers, uh, or numbers only, okay? 
You can split this data out as well, all right? So we can split it, uh, and then I can inverse that split, okay? All right, so, uh, and then if you, if you don't want that, you can justify it left, right, center, et cetera, okay? Uh, that's the formatting. Uh, let's turn it to a volume column, okay? And uh, let's format that, all right? So now you can see it's CVP. If I hover over here, it says chart range volume profile. Okay, all right, uh, let's see. So I can change it to session range or there's all sorts of ways of resetting this uh, information. Let me uh, right click again on and then left click on format and uh, I wanna show this as bars and numbers, okay? It's, it's very, it's this almost a duplicate here of the other chart that you see our column that you see here. Um, and, uh, but I'm, I wanna split this data out, okay? So now you can see the difference here. This is a, a view a lot of traders like, all right? They, uh, they wanna see who's winning the battle uh, in the aggressor uh, classification here, right? So, um, uh, you know, they'll split out the data like this. Um, and um, let's, uh, let's move this to the front of the line here. Um, and you can see that, uh, well, for example, sellers are starting to take control. 287 versus 100, or I'm sorry, 288 versus 91, uh, 174 versus uh, 22 down here. So, you know, they're starting to uh, to hit the bid, okay? And uh, uh, these guys actually, uh, now we're starting to come back up into this little micro range. Uh, this might be trap volume, okay? Or... Uh, you know, if you're if you have reasons to be bearish, then you're looking for, um, you know, maybe a test up here to the top of the range, and for exhaustion on the sell side, okay. And then you're looking for continuation to the downside. And let's we can do that by resetting this column. Let's just reset it now, okay. And I'm looking to see who might be winning the battle now. Okay, here come the sellers, right? Okay, and uh, let's see if they continue to hit the bid. Let's see if they have control here. Anyway, uh, this is really a, a lot of traders like this, a lot of dome traders like this, okay, because they, they, they're looking for insight um, for, uh, uh, you know, just a, a few ticks or so. And it's a great view. Uh, I like it too. Um, but, you know, th what, what I like uh, so much about Bookmap is the historical view. I can just zoom out and uh, I don't need to look for a few ticks. I can look for several points. Uh, in book map. So, you know, uh, I think uh, a lot of the dome uh, trading is looking at uh, a lot of scalping, uh, whereas book map, because it shows the historical, uh, you know, uh, liquidity map here, uh, you can use this on much higher time frames, or you can also use it for much smaller time frames. It's really up to you. Okay. So, um, uh, anyway, uh, that's uh, one way to configure your volume chart here. Right. Uh, we can show the VWAP as well. Uh, where is that? If I just click on format, then there's the v, VWAP here. And that's this white line that you see here. Okay. All right. Okay. Now uh, let's go back and reset it here to our chart range. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, all right, let's just go through quickly the different data types, okay? This is volume, okay? Most people are looking at volume. Uh, but we also want to under, uh, uh, cover, uh, there's trade counters, there's a quotes counter. All these three, volume, trades counter, and quotes counter, are very similar, okay? And they have the same uh, uh, formatting. Uh, a trades counter, if I click on that, okay? Instead of showing the volume that traded, and you can see it says CTC here, uh, instead of CVP, so chart range trades counter, uh, it, it's showing me the number of trade events. And why is that important? All right? Well, because in the algorithmically dominated marketplace here, a lot of these uh, larger block orders are broken into several small trades. Okay, so we want to understand maybe the events, the flurry of activity. Uh, more so than the actual, you know, volume that traded. Because if there's a lot of activity, it means that it can trade there. The algorithms read that information. Uh, in fact, a lot of them uh, have more weight on the trades counter than they do on the volume count. Okay. Now, uh, and you can look at this again, you can format it 
uh, as a profile um, or a split out, okay? Now let's go over the next one, which is the quotes counter, okay? What I'm showing here is um, not uh, volume, not events, but quotes refreshed, okay? So it, again, it, it, it's like, this is very similar to pit noise, okay? In the old, back in the days with the pits, um, the trading pits, you, you know, you might uh, all of a sudden hear all sorts of noise in the pit. Doesn't even uh, have to, um, one trade does not even have to occur. Just means that they are very interested in trading uh, at that area because they're shouting at each other, trying to uh, facilitate a trade. Okay, uh, but they may, you know, hold hold steady and and uh, maybe they don't want to trade. Still, it shows that there's interest at that level, and that's what the quotes counter is doing. Okay, so it's not just for um, you know historical best bid and offer; it's for the depth. Okay, that's why you get the bigger profile here. Okay, you get these really nice profiles as well, uh, because it's giving it's getting giving you data for this this information up up here or these price levels up here as well as uh, the current uh, or just previously historical uh, view. All right, quotes delta um, that's showing here. A lot of traders like this view quite a bit. Okay, and uh, let me cover this one, and I'm going to move this around and format this just a little bit. Okay. Uh, and what it's showing you. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to split this data out. Okay. All right. So what the quotes counter here uh, is, or, um, I'm sorry, the um, quotes delta is showing you. It's not the, here's the current order book that's showing you liquidity. Okay. Um, but the quotes counter uh, instead is, uh, is showing you um, the uh, 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 numbers of contracts that were either added or pulled. Okay, so you know that may be more important to you if you really know your market well. You're looking at, uh, you know, instead of the liquidity, it's like what's more important is how much was pulled or added. Okay, to understand, um, you know, which direction the market might go. Right. So anyway, uh, there's a quotes delta there. Uh, there's some notes, custom notes. I uh, don't have time to go over those, but. Um, uh, you know, there's, uh, you can really build these out in, in uh, many different ways. And then time and sales, okay? So a lot of traders want to see their time and sales. Here you go. You can filter it, uh, you know, look for a, a number, of, you know, of contracts, size by minimum or maximum, whatever you want. Uh, you can export this data in a CSV file. You can also pop this window out, okay? And uh, put this into another area on your chart. Okay. A lot of traders like time and sales. They want to see where the uh, transactions are taking place. All right. If I close that window, it pops back in and uh, let's turn that back into, well, let's hide the column. Okay. And let's just go back to what we had earlier and I'll just format this. And I just like looking at it split out and inversed. All right. It's quick, uh, but uh, that's the, uh, the columns. Um, all sorts of different ways, and I've seen so many different configurations. I've seen columns built out that are like 10 different columns, um, all sorts of different colors, all sorts of different studies. It's really up to you. Uh, you know, a lot of traders like the dome uh, and rely on that information. Uh, other traders may just have one or two columns, and that's it. Okay. Anyway, you can really configure this out, and you can match any dome that's out there. Uh, all of the data, not only can you match it, you can do much better uh, because we're offering data types that they don't offer. Um, and that's uh, that's shown here, as you can see, going through all of these uh, these different data types. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's wrap it up. For those of you who are in the um, uh, advanced webinar, I'll see you next. Um, for those of you who are not and you're new here, uh, show up tomorrow and I'll, I'll give you access to the um uh, the advanced, uh, we do this on uh, on Friday uh, to give you a peek to what that might be like uh, before uh, you, you, you do your trial, okay? Because we really go into depth, but, um, you know, I'm not going to answer questions regarding the platform in there. Uh, that is reserved for this webinar, okay? All right, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow.